my question, my first question is because we're, we're talking to millennials mostly and they think there's an easy button to life. And I want to hear what, what does it take to be a champion? It's basically, um, Mike, you know, you just got to dedicate your whole life to your goal. Whatever goal you, you want to accomplish, you just got to dedicate your whole life to it. I've been doing this since I was 12 years old. And I, my dedication so, so let's talk about it. 12 years old, like, what are you doing to you start your career, I guess, at 12 years old, yeah, right? 12 years old, I meet wow. this older man named Custy Amato, yep. and he starts teaching me how to box. So when I come to this place, I see this old white guy, and I said, what is he going to teach me about fighting? And later I find out I, uh, I didn't know anything. And uh, he took me, and my mother had passed away. He had adopted me. Mm -hmm. And then um, we went on this um, tour and becoming the champion. So what was your typical day? Let's say at, tw at 12, 13, 14 years old. What was your typical day like then? And then let's bring that up to like 24, 25. And like, uh, how does that all work? Like, never, what, do you, what do you have to do? What's the kind of commitment and mindset? It never changed um, from 13 to... 30. You never oh, really? change, no. You get okay. up at 3.30 in the morning, you start running. Wait, every morning you got up 3 at 3.30 in the morning? Yes. Okay. So you go at 3.30, you come back home, you get into your hot bath, you got to get into a hot bath, especially if you're cutting weight, you get into the hot tub. Wait, 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 if, wait hang on. You said 3.30. <clears throat> what do you do at 4 o'clock? What are you doing at 5? What are you doing at 6? You, I'm like... getting in the hot tub. Oh, first thing you do at 3.30 is you get in the hot tub? No, I'll get, I run after I finish running. Okay. I get into the hot tub. What How far do you run? What would you eat in the morning? Four miles. Excuse me. Four miles. What would you What would you eat? Do you have breakfast or anything, or what, what do you usually I, eat? I, I, when I, your would run, I would run on no food. I had an empty stomach. Empty right stomach. Right. Yeah. And then you do that, and then after that, you did the hot tub, and then what came next? Then we ate. And then what, after that, I went to school. And then after school, what'd you do? I came to the gym. Wow. And how long would you stay in the gym for after school? Spent three hours. For three hours, and when you got older, did that routine change at all? Because now. You're, you're what, 18 years old? You're yeah. no longer in school? You're a professional boxer? What did that training day look like? It was the same thing. Exactly. Constantly training. But instead of school, you're in the gym that in whole time? In the gym, yes. And what would you do in the, like, what would you do? Would you study films and, and I watched like, a lot of films before I went to bed, but most of the time really? I would be sparring. I sparred a lot. I so, a lot of contact fighting. A lot of contact fighting. When you watch these, these uh, films and videos of, of other boxers, how much time would you spend doing that? I would do that um, for a couple of hours a night. A couple hours a night. So you're studying. You're working your ass off physically, and then you're studying for another two hours. Yeah, so I'm studying I, older fighters. fighters yes, from, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, study. It's still studying. Like you're looking at the old fighters, what they're doing, what, what you can take with and what you don't want to. It's that, that is a commitment. And anyone who's listening here, if you think that you're going to be successful and it's going to be an easy ride, it's going to be one of the toughest rides in your life, to be a champion or to be top of your game. You can't get discouraged. Yep. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can't get discouraged if you lose or something happens. Yep. Um, um, hard times come across to everybody. So when you go through difficult times, mm -hmm. you just got to suck it up. Just keep so going. That, so what did, you, what did all that training and that discipline, what, what did it teach you that you brought into your business life and your personal life? On my dedication. Go deeper on, on dedication, though, Mike. Like, when you're 12 or 13 and you're working that hard, when you see other kids are out having fun and goofing off and you're in the gym and you're working, like, what do you tell your kids? Like, what advice? Because that's a huge price to pay. My like, kids are a lot different than I was. Sure. They, um, they have food to eat. They have nice house. They have, so if they don't do good in the gym, um, they're going to go matter. home to a nice yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah. That was different with us, you know, we, you have to win. Every time you win, um, the step getting out of the hood. In a lot of ways, like, you're self-made, like, right? Like, Mike and I are both self-made, but you're self-made. Like, you put it on your back and you made it happen. Well, I'm self-made, but, you know, someone helped me. Somebody guided yeah, me. Yeah, well, sure, you're, you're mentored. Yeah. All of us were. Like, Chris has mentored. I've been mentored. You've been mentored. That's one of the keys to success. How important is a, is a mentor and somebody to believe in you at a young age? Um, every day in the world, I have somebody to believe in you. Because I was um, very insecure that one mm -hmm. time, believe it or not. Sure, of course. I was a real yeah, insecure kid. It. And um, well, it's, it's, he was talking about this guy. <laughs>